things I love and I hate about my 2014 Scion TC. But first, let's go grab some coffee. If you guys couldn't already tell, one of the nicest things about the 2014 Scion TC, and I want to say, I, I, I can't speak for all generations, but I believe the second gen, at least the second gen, has three speakers on the door, on each door, and there's one in the rear. Um, the sound in this car, it's just the, the music quality, it's nice, it's crisp, you can put the zones and the only thing, the only thing I'm going to improve on with the sound is I'm going to be putting subs in the trunk, but that is a future, future goal. Uh, but yeah, audio quality in here is amazing, but there's a counter to that. Coffee. So here's the thing. The sound quality is amazing. Right, so what, what could what could what could possibly be the other side? So the sound quality is amazing. It's really, really, really good. But you play music at a certain level. The bass hits, and you know, like I've I messed with the bass, turned it down a little bit. Most common problem with these is the doors rattle, and specifically the the switches rattle. And you could obviously fix it. I'm going to fix it. Um, especially when I put the subs in the rear, it, it, you're gonna, I'm gonna need it. Um, that was the, I feel like they, they, they put so much motivation and time into getting some type of music quality to make it that really really nice quality, and they missed out on the very important step of dampening like the doors, anything that shakes, and it's just. And, and, and on top of that, you listen to music in the car, and if it's loud, it's like you're sitting inside the car with me even with the windows rolled up. Uh, but yeah. Other than that, sound quality, I would say is an A+. Plus, but uh, they could definitely use a little bit of work. Not sure if you guys remember. Remember all that stuff that was right here? Now, obviously, I didn't move it all. That would have been a lot of trips, and you know, it's it, 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 yeah. But let me tell you, the 24, the TC in general, they all come with a hell of a lot of storage. Now, obviously, right now my storage is kind of cut in half uh, because of these bad boys right there. Um, so obviously, I'd be able to fit more in here, but I was able to move both side skirts for the skyline and both fenders for the skyline in the back of the car and like I said I would have moved it all but that would have taken like 10 trips I had someone come over help me move the bigger stuff and we moved the majority of it all at once and uh yeah storage 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 this thing has a lot of storage and I love it um also because it has a lot of storage uh I was actually able to move something for work uh computers on wheels I'll put like a little screenshot of what they were what they look like some on the screen but I was able to get that in here they completely lay it down with no issues. Also, I've slept back here. Not at the bars, obviously, but I've slept. I went camping and kind of slept back here and closed the trunk and no issues. Full length, put a pillow up, blanket, good to go. Obviously, this TC sounds a little bit different compared to all the other TCs, at least as far as I'm aware of and as far as I've heard. Um, it just has its very own unique sound, and I've yet to hear another TC to sound quite like it. 
Uh, so what exactly is done with it? We have an S pipe from CNT, and then we also have uh, an agency power cap back. Now this is now the agency ca power cap backs that say Alex has. Uh, if I have a clip, I will put it somewhere. They they change the way they make it, and the, that's why this car is so unique. And you, you're not gonna be able to get this sound, as far as I'm aware, on another exhaust. If you have one, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna ask you how you did it, and if they can get another one for made it for it. But yeah, that's the sound. Perfect, 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 perfect. Also, um, if you have a stock TC with no exhaust, adding an intake definitely made a stock exhaust a little bit louder. Um, and if you have just the TRD exhaust, the TRD axle back, adding an intake definitely will help get a little more air and make, make your car feel a little more peppy in terms of sound. Uh, that was the first mod I did two months into it, completely changed, completely changed the, the way the car sounded and felt. Now obviously, the fa my favorite, favorite part of this TC is how they changed the look from first gen to second gen to two and a half gen, which is what this would be considered. Headlights changed, the front bumper changed, the rear bumper changed, and the taillights changed. They all changed and they made the TC look really, really good and 100% was worth it, was, was definitely worth it. Uh, things I changed to the TC, obviously, we put a full lip kit all around. This is an NIA lip kit. Amazing, 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 amazing. It actually, the car doesn't look as low as it is, um, and if it didn't have the kit on it, it probably wouldn't look as low. If, if, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and obviously, we paired it up with a Sivan carbon fiber side skirts. Those still have to be fitted a little bit more, but I'm not too worried about it as it's almost the end of the season. Now, the biggest complaint, biggest complaint of the TC is actually in the back of the car. So let's go, let's go take a look. So, I love the rear end. Don't me wrong, it's a great rear end. We paired it up with obviously the NIA kit on it and also uh, it's a spoiler king, spoiler, uh, roof spoiler. My one biggest complaint about this TC, I'm going to assume it's the same at all the TCs. This right here is so flat, even with it being ceramic coated, this is how dirty it is. And I, mind you, I clean this car pretty often. I haven't cleaned it in about a week now, so it's my typical routine. But the amount of dirt that builds up on this car, just like this, and it's not even like it rained, okay? This is just the condensation <laughs> the condensation of the morning it, 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 it just does this and it's very very frustrating um, obviously on things like the Subaru that Alex has that makes more sense it gets a little bit dirty the exhaust blah blah, blah. It, it, but this like it, that's clearly like I, water just sits there and it doesn't run off so it just dries and gets dirty nothing I can do about it and like I said this is all ceramic coated now so yeah other than that Love it. Love the buy style. And obviously, having an entire roof of glass is really, really nice. Um, I did, however, figure out how expensive these are. If I have to replace it, they're not cheap. Don't ever let it break. If it does, make sure it's under warranty and it goes through insurance. Those are not cheap, but I can only imagine how much a rear window will cost. Yes. You, that, that, that number is correct. This car makes terrible gas mileage. Uh, and it's not like, it's not like I'm beating the car hard. It's just terrible on gas. Alex's car, the Subaru, okay, a built Subaru, all right, he can get anywhere from 30 plus miles per gallon. A Toyota four-cylinder, the same motor that goes into the RAV4, not sure about the new ones, but the previous generations and the couple before that, they all have the same motor, and I want to say they get better gas mileage than the TC does. So why? I don't get it. Is it because I'm, I, I don't drive it hard? Because there's no eco? I, 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 don't, I don't get it. But the gas mileage is terrible. I mean, obviously, it's, it, it could be worse. We could be in the single digits or... 
under the 20 mark that a lot of cars are that are like performance cars but for the amount of power that this car is currently putting out you think you'll get better gas mileage i don't know just me so guys the tc in general i love it i love it i love it i love it I, the, the, it's it's a perfect driver's car it feels cheap in certain things like the plastic it's all plastic and it obviously it didn't come with like a leather option it was all cloth and if you really wanted to you could buy the trd stuff and you know this and that there's manual automatic but it felt very cheap and the the doors rattle the doors if with the amount of audio that's in it the door shouldn't rattle i'm sorry it shouldn't rattle it's 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 a factory option it's not like i added more speakers or i changed the speakers out to change the way it looks and change the way it sounds that's how it comes from the factory and it's that cheap i don't know it's just it's something that you know they made it to be cheap and affordable for the younger crowd it worked but at the same time it just felt feels a little bit too cheap for the same price point as other cars um specifically like the corolla i mean that's what this thing is a lot of times it's comparable to is the corolla and that one i feel like in a 2014 model corolla you probably have more features it probably feels less cheap is probably the best way to put it now let's talk about the tc platform if you own a tc i'm sure if you've come down to the point of can I get this? Can I do this? Can I do that? Can I do this? You know, does anybody offer this? And in all honesty, the options, they're not there. They're not there. They're not there. It, 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 to find an S-pipe, there's very little options. To find an exhaust, there's very little options on exhaust. Um, obviously, there's cheaper options. You can just, a lot of people cut off the muffler and call it a day. And you can do that. And I, I, more power to you. Do what you have to do for the TC platform. But I can't be the only one who's saying, this platform's dead. Uh, there's nothing for it. There's, if you, you, you can't get my agency power cap back anymore. There's, if you want upgraded uh, suspension items, you can obviously do coilovers. Coilovers are cheap and the parts are interchangeable probably with other brands. And um, I know my rear camber arms is, also fits on a Lexus. So it's like, you know, obviously stuff that's interchangeable between the cars, it's going to be a little bit easier and keep a little more parts in stock, but the platform is just not there. Um, or the first generation TC, it can come factory supercharged. You can't, unless I'm completely wrong, and if t tell me below in the comments if I'm completely wrong, you couldn't get a supercharged option from the factory. Now, I believe I saw when I first had the TC... There was probably like a, an optional supercharger that you can purchase on top of it. Um, I don't remember cor correct a hundred percent, but I believe there was a supercharger option if you wanted to order through TRD. That's it. There's no performance gains. Uh, if you want any type of performance, you have these sketchy plug-and-play tuners that you, it might work and it might not. You might blow up your motor. You might be fine for years and. There's a lot more people starting to get tunes now for them, and maybe that's something that I'll do in the future, but <sighs> parts are scarce. Ebok made adjustable sway bars. You can't find them on the website anymore. You can find it on eBay, you can find it on third party. Um, they no longer make the TRD sway bars, which in all honesty was probably Ebok to begin with, and that's probably why they don't make them anymore. Um, but it just feels so... This platform just feels so empty. There's nothing for it. And it's it's terrible. And unfortunately, I love this car and I wish there was more I could do with it. But I can't. And that's okay. And I've kind of just come to accept it. Um, the parts for this, for what you can buy, it's relatively cheap. Other than unless you go through carbon fiber options. And we can go 100 times over like a, the custom fabrication stuff that you can do. But the readily like plug and play bolt on stuff. Um, headers are solely but surely disappearing for this car you know it, it there's a lot of stuff just just disappearing for this car and if you don't have it now you're not gonna get it in the future and so it's like okay should I wait should I wait 
I don't have the money right now. Should I wait and try to buy it later on? Or what's more important? Or this and that. Like, if you have the ability to buy it, buy it. Reason being, it could disappear. That's just my two cents. Like I said, I love the I love the car. There's so many things I love about the car. Uh, the the brand obviously you know the the whole thing with the brand and I wish Toyota and hopefully Toyota smart one day and will make the TC that we have been dreaming and waiting for the ones that I'm sure like all the TC owners would love a Toyota branded Lexus branded coupe like the TC doesn't have to be exactly like it obviously we'll bring in the full glass roof and stuff like that Toyota if you ever if you ever see this video. Let's make another TC. If you have seen it, if you see this video after you make another TC, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making another one. And hopefully that one will be here for a little bit longer than these ones. Guys, so obviously we, we just talked about a lot of different things. Things I like, this, the things I don't like. The TC is not going anywhere. I don't want you guys to think that. The TC is here to stay. We're going to continue to make it personalized we're gonna continue to do stuff that i want to do with it um we're not really sure where we're gonna end up next year with v2 uh it's definitely something that is still in process of being created and stuff like that we're working on it. we're working on it and it's gonna take a while in v2 obviously we're gonna come back better than ever uh if you guys don't really subscribe make sure you guys subscribe for uh to keep in touch with that if you guys agree disagree um want to continue to add what we just talked about any of the things that we just talked about today let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely down to talk to you guys about it um, and how you guys feel. If you own a TC, you guys might feel the same way, might not feel the same way. Let me know about all that stuff in the comments. Also, if you guys like this kind of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below if you guys want us to do it with like, uh, things like the WRX, the TL, and potentially Alex's new toy, which you guys have yet to see. Well, maybe we'll see it very, very soon. Um... Yeah, definitely let us all know about that in the comments, um, and we're going to continue to go from there. Um, V2 coming very, very soon. Skyline stuff coming very, very, very soon. And obviously, we have Alex's new toy that we have to show you guys. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys, don't forget to like. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Later.